how you know you're dating a narcissist. You will know that you're dating a narcissist because they will pull you into their fun house. They will pull you into their amusement facility which is equipped with various devices designed to surprise, challenge and amuse you. It's a thrill ride, a roller coaster. It has ups and downs. It's never consistent. It's unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen next. It incorporates aspects of a playful obstacle course where you have to jump through hoops. You have to go through an elaborate and complicated procedure in order to achieve an objective. You have to do a series of difficult and pleasant and annoying things in order to please them or in order to get what you want. But in the beginning they made it seem like it was fun. Because that's all it really is when you're with a narcissist. That's all that it amounts to. But it's also designed to confuse you. Because in their fun house there's a series of rooms and passageways. Many of which have sloping or moving floors. Distorting mirrors and other devices. It's designed to make it difficult for you to find your way out of it. And that's when it's no longer fun. Because you want to get out. You want the games to stop. But you can't find your way out. Because this is what narcissists do once they've gotten you addicted to them. And it can be difficult to tell if you're actually dealing with a narcissist. Because they will mirror other people. They will play the victim. They will act like you've done something to them. So that they can seem the same as other people. So that they can remain undetected. Because then it's more under the radar. It doesn't bring too much attention to them. Because they know that what they're doing isn't normal. They know that it isn't socially acceptable. And they know that most people wouldn't agree to it. If they knew what it was. So they have to hide, disguise or conceal who they really are and what they're really trying to do. And instead put on an act and perform well enough so that it's still effective. Because for them to pull you into it, they have to make it fun and exciting initially. They have to use future faking. They have to use a detailed vision of the future to facilitate the bonding and connection. They keep you hooked by making the kinds of future promises you want to hear, whether it's marriage or having children, or even just traveling together. But they will always hold you off. They will deliberately delay doing something they won't do it immediately. They will resist. They will prevent you from advancing or approaching. And they will only give you a limited amount of the entertainment. But they will lead you to believe that something is coming. If you just hold on. If you just wait a little longer. Because there's all of these twists and turns. There's so many surprising changes. There's curves and frequent changes of direction to where you never know what's going to happen next. But they will use money or their physical appearance to deduce you, to keep you stuck. To keep you lost in this little world that they have created for you. To get you involved in a difficult and confusing situation. Because there's so many twists and turns.
they get you caught up initially by giving you something that you like. They stand out by doing things that most people wouldn't do. They do more than what you might desire from them. They exceed your expectations because they really want to leave an impact. They want to have a strong and permanent influence on you. And you may be fine with that in the beginning because you don't realize what you're being pulled into. Because in the beginning it's fun, you're having a good time, they're not doing anything bad. But then when it finally happens you don't see it because as time goes by they stop doing the things that they used to do. They forget your birthday. They won't take you on trips. But in the beginning they put in so much effort and they make it seem like it was real. So that's what pulled you in. That's what got you lost in their world. And once they know they've got you locked in there, they flee. They clear out and depart quickly. They leave you there by yourself. Because they change up on the things that they were doing for you before. And they start demanding things from you. But they're always demanding things that they're not even giving to you. They want your love and emotion. But they don't want to commit. They just want your soul. And you never expected it to be like this. If you had known you would never have gotten involved with them in the first place. So now you want to leave. Because you realize that things aren't as they appear. But when you've got one foot out the door, that's when the narcissist will love you the most. That's when they will bring back the false character. Because they can see that they're scaring you. They can see that you see that something's not right. They know that their behaviors are disagreeable and unpleasant. They know that it made you want to pull away. So they try to pull you back. They bring back the false character. And then they try to make you feel comfortable again by giving you another taste of what made you become attracted to them in the first place. And this is how you know you're dating a narcissist because it's very inconsistent. They're constantly appearing and disappearing. They're hot and cold. You never know where you stand with them because they love you one minute and hate you the next. But you got pulled into it because it was fun in the beginning. Because maybe at the time you didn't have much else to do. So you had fun. And that's what left an impact on you. Because while they were being fake. It was a real experience for you. But you need to recognize that they have an agenda. They have different motives which are very different from who they're pretending to be because that's who they really are. They're crazy. They're full of problems because they were really trying to play you. They were trying to engage with you for enjoyment and recreation rather than for a serious or practical purpose. They knowingly used your emotions in order to get validation from you. And that is why they dealt with you in a way that lacked seriousness, good sense or deeper meaning. Because they just wanted you all to themselves. Even while they were treating you badly, cruelly and unfairly. But this is how you should know that there is no future with them. Because even though they got this far with you, they still ended up mistreating you. They still messed it up because they're unable to control their actions. It's a pattern of behavior that they cannot control and it will always produce the same results in the end.
Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You could book one on one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.